Number seven, another higher question. Worded, but essentially the diagram speaks for itself here. You're given the equations of two circles being the outer circles, and you define the equation of this inner circle, where the centres are collinear and the circles are external tangents to each other like this. Right, well, essentially that just means find the geometrical features of the diagram so you can work out distances, because it's all just about distances. You'll know the equation of that circle once you know the length of its radius and the position of its centre. Well, the first thing is extract the geometrical information from these, and that's quite easy. So this has got a centre at negative 12, negative 15, so it looks like that's going to be A. And also the radius of A is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. Similarly for this, it centres at 24, 12, being the opposites, x minus A, x minus B. So it's at 24, 12, and that must be the point C. So that means the radius of C is going to be the square root of that, 10. So there's the information we've got so far. So from that, how can you find the size of this circle and position of its centre? Well, the centre's got to lie in that line, but first of all, its radius would be easier to get because I just need to work out the distance between the centres. Take away the radius, because I can put the information in now. That distance is 5, that distance is 10, and that'll be whatever's left over between the two. So I just consider the big right-angle triangle. How many along and how many up is it going from A to C? You'll get that information from these coordinates here. So... Taking that triangle, well, taking that out of this, then I've got that'll be the difference in the x's, that'll be the difference in the y's. So if I'm looking at the line AC, I've got the difference in x will be 24, I might as well put the working down, 24 take away negative 12, so that's 36, that means I'm going 36 along. The difference in the y coordinates is going to be 12 take away negative 15, so that's 12 plus 15 is 27. So that means I'm going 36 along and 27 up from a right angle triangle. Well that means that AC squared is going to be 36 squared plus 27 squared. And you know the answer to that straight away for AC, or fairly quickly, because that's 9 times 4, that's 9 times 3, so the answer must be 9 times 5 is 45. Put down the Pythagoras if you like. AC is 45, I knew that because it was a 3, 4, 5 triangle, or specifically a 9, or nine times a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Right, that's the first part, I know what AC is. Now I can work out the radius of B, because the radius of B is going to be, if the whole distance is 45, and I take away 5 and I take away 10, I take away 5 and I take away 10, whatever is left will be the diameter, I've just got to half that. So the radius of B is going to be a half of 30. So the radius of B is going to be 15. So that's part of it. Radius is 15. Now it's just a case of where's its centre? Now when it comes to working out distances, just the same as that. Work out horizontal and vertical distances. These form what are known as displacements. To move from A to C, I'd go 36 along and then 26 up. The question here is, how many along would it be, and how many up would it be, just to go from A to B? It's obviously going to be a certain fraction of that distance. It would be handy if it was exactly halfway, but it's not, because they're not the same. Because if it was halfway, then you could either just use your midpoint formula, or say, I've just got to go a half of 36 along, and a half of 27 up. So the question really is, what would that distance be? Well, if the radius is 15, that means that part's 15, and that part's 15. So in terms of... AC. Now the other thing of this is this. If I use this notation, that says, what's the displacement? The displacement means how do you move from A to C? Well, moving from A to C, I would go 36 along, so you could say that, 36 along and 27 up. But you may as well use this other form of notation, which is, writes it down just as two numbers, 36, 27, meaning the long number and the up number. Now what about going from A to B? If I was to go from A to B, how many along is that and how many up is that? Well, it's going to be a certain fraction of the way. And what fraction is that going to be? It's going to be a certain fraction. Well, the whole distance was 45. That distance is 20, so it must be 20 out of 45 times it. That's the fraction you've got. I take 20 steps to get there out of the 45 steps that would be all together. And 20 over 45 is 4 ninths. That means it's 4 ninths of 36, 27. 
I go four ninths of the 36 along, and then I go four ninths of the up. And that gives me 9 into 36 goes 4 times 4 is 16, 9 into 27 goes 3 is 12. What that says is to go from A to B, I go 6 and along 12 up. Now that's called displacements. You're using displacements here, and that's a very handy piece of notation for displacements. You'll get that in the vectors later anyway. So, what are the coordinates saying? Well, if the move from A to B is 16 steps along and 12 step up, steps up, that means B must be at the point, well what was A? A started at negative 12, that was its x-coordinate, and you're going to go another 16 steps along. A started at negative 15, and you're going to go another 12 steps up. So B must be the point 4, and that part's going to be negative 3. Using these displacements here. And then I can get the equation of circle B. So, what's the equation of circle B? I'm just going to use it in the form of x minus a squared, y minus b squared equals r squared. So x minus 4 squared, y minus, so I'll be y plus 3 squared equals 15 squared, which would do, multiplying out to 225 of course, or if you just spell it all out, what I've got, which strictly speaking isn't necessary unless you're going to use it later on, you've got square the first, twice the product, square the last, square the first, twice the product, square the last, minus the 225 equals 0, put in the order of squared terms first, so the x squared, the y squared, then the x and the y, then I've got 25, so that'll be minus 200 equals 0. There's the equation of the circle. Well, that part, well, working at the radius was just a matter of Pythagoras and taking away distances, but working at the centre was got by using displacements.